Okay, we are at Lake Whitney at a campground. We was looking for a free campground and turned in the wrong direction and it ended up here. Cake all the way down there looking at the lake. Ended up here at a paid campground. We're gonna do one night, then we're going to the free campground for four nights. But it's not bad, look at this. We got site number nine. There's Big Easy and Patches, Jet Blue right there. Real gravel road, a lot of gravel and grass, but like we always say, if we can get in it on our regular street tires, you can get in it on any bike. Oh, where we are. <laughs> we are in Texas. Let me go find out what park we're at. Lawless Bend, Lawfers Bend Park, west in Texas. There's a east campground and a west campground. We're on a west campground. When we pulled in and saw a campground, a, a reservation thing, we're like, okay, we're at the wrong spot. The part we was looking for was Soldier's Bluff. We've been there. It was horrible. We didn't like it. It was ugly. Uh, a lot of traffic. You can see the freeway. So we decided to come here because I remember seeing this, but I didn't know it was a paid park. I'm going to find a cake. She's walking down there by the lake. But we just kind of just came in. The guy told us there are spaces available. So we stopped by the first one, made the reservation. But here's the good thing about it. It's only $12. We're going to stay in one night. And then we're going another 26 miles for four nights. It's supposed to stay five nights at a free campground, but we're going another 26 miles to find the campground that we're looking for and stay four more nights. And then from here, we're in Texas. This is it. Not bad. A lot of oak trees. Oh, not bad for $12. So that's what we are doing tonight. There's cake. You can go. There's a trail right there. So we can go down to the lake. Yeah, it's a rugged down, but you can get there. Like, so you wanna go step. walk there first before we set up? Yeah, come show All right, we're gonna walk down there right quick. Going down to the lake. I'm screaming because it got a lot of wind. <laughs> lake Whitney. Go touch the water, cake. Take a dive. Touch the water, cake. Yeah, we're telling me touch the water. Hold that. Awesome. Like you going down there? All right. Back up. Don't touch bag, the water, bag. Rich. Bag, bag. Rich going to touch the water. Your honor. I told him. I tried to tell him. I tried to tell him. Not bad, huh? Touch the water. Let me know how warm it is. Oh, it goes all the way over there. Around the corner, baby. Oh, when I went over there, when I was talking to the Keisha, it ended right there. So it goes around here, but it ends right there. Campsite up there. This is nice. Even though it's paid, we're going to find another one on this lake that we know is free. The one we're supposed to find anyway. Let me show you guys the water. About to go fishing. <laughs> okay. She asked him, did I catch any fish? Up there high and dry, look at her. Yeah. Okay, let me see, let me see. Wow, very warm. It's swimmable, but I don't know, before it's warm, before it's swimmable, but I don't know what kind of toes they have in here under current. So without knowing the current, obviously we can see the wind is blowing in this direction, but we don't know what current go out or the shelf out there. 
and not get into that. Oh, I see something swimming. A big fish, Cake. A catfish. Catch it. Wow. I hope it came on camera. You saw it from up there? Big giant one. Looked like it was a catfish. Hey, you can tell a story. If a shark want to come get me, you better be fast. Because if I make it up there and push you down, it's on. Anyway, we go ahead and set up our campsite and uh, one night enjoy the day. And then we're going to get our free site for four days. Because we're only, I think, 100, maybe 200 miles away from our next destination. 